state. Now it's time to go across Europe. So episode seven, this car, 24 days time, will be at Essen Motor Show in Germany, but we've got a few things to do before then. So this car has now been dropped. It is now Tuesday, uh, yeah, 24 days ahead of 2nd of December. This car is gonna be flown home, so about three, five days time it will receive it. It's then gonna go over to uh, Tom Wrigley, get that final tune, get some dyno numbers, showcase what single turbo can do. And then we're gonna get some like DI, just some, some small tasks done on the car. I get the air ride checked over, get everything checked over. And then we head to Essen. Mm. Back, so we have finally arrived and we are in London, England. This time it is episode seven. We're following on. We left the touring in LA about a week and a bit ago um, at the transport company to be shipped over to the UK. Today is the day, so we're jumping on the camera pretty much. We're going to show you around R44. You haven't seen it. Um, we pretty much entered episode one in Miami with the car. So we're going to show you around what is R44, what we do, why we do what we do. Um, and then we're going to jump in one of the cars and we're going to head over to Heathrow Airport and connect, collect the car. It's literally sat on a pallet, just come off, come off a plane last night um, and it's ready to collect. So R44, this is our little showroom. So this is like a waiting area, uh, my car storage, some areas where you can look at some detailing stuff. So we've got two sides, we've got R44 performance and we've got R44 detailing. So we sell all the top uh, kind of rated, the highest quality brands like G-Technic, uh, Gion and stuff like that uh, for your car care, only kind of for the UK and Europe because chemicals overseas isn't the best thing. We've obviously got some crazy cars. So this is our GT3 RS uh, 991.1, finished in white with the white buckets, uh, carbon seats, red bucket uh, seat belts. Really nice car. Then we've got the matching F80 M3. So this is a white car as well. Um, again, it's got full carbon bucket seats, white cage, red buckles, need some yellow calipers to match up. But these are a matching pair of track cars, um, both different in their ways, but both crazy. This one's actually stage two, Tom Wrigley. Uh, stage three, so hybrid turbos, everything's been done. It just had a new engine and new transmission throughout. But that's pretty much, yeah, two little track cars coming in here, more of a chill out area. This is our bar. So we've got uh, the kind of sit down area for customers, whether they want to work on their laptops along the back or chill out, grab a drink, have a beer. And then we've got some washrooms, but it's still finishing uh, just time. Obviously we've been out in America. So let's go and head into the workshop. Whoa, that's uh, Dylan's new Remus. A shout out to Jimmy from TPC and Remus UK. Remus is going on Dylan's car. But more importantly, that is what R44 is. We are an online company, so we pick, pack, and ship thousands of orders um, every month, and that is the lovely warehouse. So we have about 10,000 square foot of warehousing behind there. We've also got quality control bays, packing rooms, canteens, and much more. We've got our Supra, so this is an A90 Supra finishing gray, uh, blue, so a lot of blue cars. Wait till you see. Uh, we've it's going to be a discussion to have, but we have a lot of blue cars currently. So this is the customer's G80 M3 finishing satin PPF that one of our uh, partners here um, in London did. So Limitless just finished this XBL PPF. It's got a full carbon kit. It's got a Scorpion exhaust that we installed um, and some other bits. G87 M2, so that's our uh, newest kind of shop car um, after the touring, finishing Papaya Orange and Nosatech. That's getting ready, ECU is out and shipped off to Femto, ready for stage one. We've got Dylan's F87 M2 ready for his Remus and uh, some, some lookovers. Uh, what else is happening on it? It's got a, yeah, just a Remus, no? And a golden wrench install, so we've got some cool stuff. And then we've got it, the Beast. So this car has just returned after coming back from America. This is a thousand horsepower GAE M3 owned by myself and the team here at R44. Um, but yeah, this car has just had the final uh, SP2 install. We're just going through the installation guide for this car, um, for the SP2 front lip. So that's ready to go. But yeah, this is a beef. So this is a full stage three package. This is hybrid turbos from Pure uh, Turbos, Pure Transmission, Tom Wrigley and Mike Ball mapping throughout Femto, full CSF cooling package from inlet manifold to everything that's on that touring. It is fully loaded. And this car is a machine. Like honestly, it is so quick. Just over a thousand horsepower, naught to 60 in two seconds, 9.3 quarter mile and much more. So yeah, it's finally back in our possession. We've got the goods, we've got the Renegade. We're gonna go head out racing. And then yeah, we've got some track tires, but yeah, that's us. This is what we do. We've got two ramps. We've got a bit of workshop stuff, mostly for marketing and video purposes as well as just wrenching on our own cars. We have about 10 cars, I believe. Um, 
we'll look outside. Maybe we'll get a, a bit of a glance at what outside is. There's an M240i owned by Zach. We've got Jade's M140i that's not here. And then we've got our X3M. There's also a Fiesta ST track car as well uh, for the team. And that's it. We're going to, yeah, we've got lots of stuff. So this is Black Friday right now. So really busy. But yeah, let's get in the X3M and let's head to Heathrow. All right, so we are now inside the warehouse and stressful moments of unwrapping the, uh, the bottom. But yeah, the car is here. Look at it in all its glory. It's a little bit lopsided, but yeah, it's on. The battery works. They didn't disconnect the battery. The fuel's still in it. Mate, it's unreal. So this has just come off the plane. So what happened was it was flown in to Heathrow on this pallet. And this pallet literally comes out of the plane, back onto a truck. There's a full conveyor belt system full of these type of pallets. And then these guys brought it in here, popped it there, and uh, it's now collection time. So we've got to give it a one button. Hopefully it starts. And we're just going to drive it straight off. So pretty much we drove into California when you saw it there. And we're driving straight out in London. We're going to go straight on the road. We've got no front registration plate because that's definitely left in some workshop across the globe. But absolutely surreal moment. So thank you all to your viewers, any customers and everything in between for making this happen. Now it's time for a reaction. We're going to take it back to the office and showcase to everybody at R44 what they have built remotely pretty much. But yeah, let's go have a look and let's get this thing started. Welcome back everybody, it is now Sunday. The car is back from Car Audio Security. So shout out to those guys. They just did a once over on the air ride. Everything is safe and sound, ready for Essen next week. But more importantly, it's Christmas tree time. It is the 26th of November. We need a Christmas tree for the office and there's no better solution than putting a Christmas tree on the top of the M3 Touring in celebration of Christmas. Anyways, but let's go. Tree Amigos, two years ago, we did the exact same thing on our M3 G80 uh, in sand. So maybe Dylan will find a bit of footage. Whack it in, but uh, that was good memory. So we're gonna go in now. We'll go pick the biggest and fattest tree possible, uh, and then we'll try and ratchet strap it to the roof without damaging it, and head back to the office. What do you think? This is the one. I think. I just love the shape gives it OG Christmas vibe, but I did just realize it's got a bit of a wonky roof, but we can still get a star on it. We got a star yesterday as well, so exciting times. I think we'll just yank it out, but let's go get the car here so we don't have to walk down there and do it on the road.
crunch time. So we are on Monday evening, very late in the evening, here at Tom Wrigley in Wales, about four hours away from, the, from London, our office. But yeah, I haven't been able to jump on the camera. It's been a busy day. I've been one working, um, and the guys have been refining this car, as well as the G87. Obviously, Dylan's shown you some really cool clips. At, I, it hasn't hit me at all what we're about to drive home. We've got a full-on boosting G81 M3 Touring on a single turbo that's now running 680 wheel horsepower and about 780 bhp. It was just fucking mind-blowing. As well as, obviously, we've limited the torque. It is powerful. We've also mapped our G87 Stage 1. We've gained 170 brake horsepower, which is just unbelievable. Again, cap that torque a little bit just to make sure that we don't end up in a ditch on the way home. Um, but yeah, the cars are filthy. Everything's now pretty much done. This car now needs to go back to London uh, with the M2. We've got to just touch up some stuff on the exhaust, reconnect the valves because we kept them open all the time through testing so we could literally get the most accurate readings. Because second those valves close, you do drop about five PSI, which is nuts. So yeah, we've got some small refinements and of course, yeah, I don't know about detailing the car. We kind of need to, but also we do have like an eight hour drive down to Essen. So I don't know how important it is. So that's all down to some making some phone calls to Europe, see what we can do. The M2 has got a full grail catback system to go on tomorrow. That should give us another 60 brakes. So that's crazy, like 250 brake almost additional on a normal car. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, we do need a windscreen for the car, which probably is impossible, but we can try. Um, so windscreen would be amazing. It's a shame that we're gonna have a cracked windscreen, but we might put a bullet hole on it. But anyways, that's it. It's been an amazing day. Shout out to Tom and Mike Bull, and of course the mechanics here. Uh, we've had a great day. The cars are running crazy good on pump fuel, really bad fuel, so, which is the main thing, because hopefully we get better fuel in Europe. Um, maybe not, but anyways, let's get on the road again. Let's go and feel what these cars are like. This is full on boost now, and now the M2 is absolutely flying. <laughs> from miles we stopped off at asd suspension and then we've had the cars cleaned but yeah we're here camber if you don't know camber they're like a street where they actually make vino so we're just drinking getting drunk pretty much it's pretty cool but the car is here it's looking fucking amazing um as you can see we've finally swapped out the wheels so the first time in the uk slash year we've run the the carbon barrels they're looking good and I'm, yeah Dylan wants me to tell you what's happening this year. So this year we are changing things up. This car is about to make a tour around Europe. We're gonna go after this show all the way to London. Oh, hello, mate. And uh, yeah, we'll go all the way to London, chill, enjoy the car, take it around to some of the UK suppliers, showcase the car. And then in February, we're gonna head skiing, snow drifting, everything in between. And then we'll hit all the shows throughout the season. Uh, and we're gonna hit it in the stance show. So yeah, we're teamed up with the guy with Camber, the guys at Camber, Boston and stuff. But yeah, as you can tell, mate, it's fucking crazy here. I'm sure if you see episodes, the previous episode to this, we were at SEMA, which is a complete different vibe because SEMA is all about industry. It's all industry people doing their thing. This is all consumer. The main thing with S and that I've learned is when we take you to go look at the M2, you're very much in the consumer area where you're selling parts. So you can come here, invest a lot of money in your stand and make a lot of money selling to customers like yourself. It's just that you get the EMS discount, which can be like 20 to 30%. But anyways, yeah, you can see these guys, literally everybody here is just drinking wine, buying the merch, feeling comfy. Um, but yeah, let's just take in the car. It looks pretty, pretty serious. Anyways, that's wicked, Dylan. The music stopped and we're not going to get a... Uh, Copyrighted, so we're gonna make some money 60 quid, maybe hopefully, out of this one. Anyway, let's go check out the M2 another hall. All right, everyone, we're gonna walk you through a couple of the, the highlights of Essen for me. So, behind me here is a special, special car. This is Jimmy from TPC, his latest build with Liberty Walk, and he's Liberty Walk EU as well. So, this is the RX7, the full Liberty Walk, and it's been designed by the guys at Blackfish Graphics. These guys. 
I think we need to work with them in uh, in 23 or oh, 24. Sorry, on the Tory, we want to add some some livery, some vibes to the car, ready to go to these shows here in Europe and just spice things up. We are not changing the color again. It's staying blue for the foreseeable forever, pretty much. But yeah, mate, shout out to Jimmy and TPC if you're watching this. You've done an amazing job, mate. Honestly, this is a work of art, and even. Yeah, we'll show you, maybe get some B-roll done quickly, of the Blackfish graphics stuff. It's amazing, the graphics they do and everything they do is just amazing. Anyways, let's get into pool six behind us here and we're gonna go look at some of the performance. We're gonna walk you all the way from here to the car. So we just come into more kind of our scene. This is where the likes of Max and Design, Evan Chiri, Airlift and the distributors that do the likes of CSF here in Europe. Um, but yeah, this is JP. If you don't know JP, check out his channel. He's actually one of the guys that helped me influence the decision to fly the touring from Essen, no, SEMA to Essen. Um, yeah, he's quite a big guy. We spent a bit of time talking to him. He was like, mate, honestly, if you guys can pull that off, then, you know, it will do a lot for you guys. So it's important. It's a big investment, but you can see everybody here is buying his calendars. We bought a couple, his merch. He's making some serious cars. But yeah, some wicked cars. Nissan GTR wide body. Look at the graphics on it. Like the, w the way these guys spec their cars is unbelievable. All right, so we cut a little bit because there's a madness walking past us, but let's get straight into it. We're just going to cut right in front. Here it is, the G87 M2 of R44 performance in the papaya orange from a nose tech sat at the Grail exhaust stand. So obviously Grail exhaust, you've seen that. We've actually got it on our 1,000 horsepower M3, GT3 RS, and now our M2 is now equipped with the OPF back system. The video will not be in the description, but it will be in the future. We'll soon have the full cat back. Um, but yeah, look at it. It is looking amazing. Grail's colors are yellow, similar to this exhaust, which is actually, you can go underneath the car. It's not just a painted exhaust, it's a special ceramic coating. Um, but the car's looking amazing. It's again, across from Fox Care. But you've got some really cool people here, like the big brands got Airlift, Evan Cherry behind the big stall. Um, but yeah, there's not much. The car looks amazing. If you want to have a look at this car, have a look on our uh, socials and our YouTube already, how we built it. Built it £10,000 been investing into it, and now we just daily drive it and enjoy it for what it is. But we're going to show you something. Obviously, we work a lot with MHC. MHC's carbon is, is amazing and it's trusted by a lot of people across the globe. Um, but let's go and have a look around and let's see how many cars we can find here at Essen for the MHC M2 Edition 1 kit. Let's find one MHC M2. We've also found from Yiddo Wheels his G81 M3 with the V style front grills, the SP1 and the performance style ducts. And then we walk on to his Edition 1 built M2 and it just looks amazing. Look at the color, look at the wheels. So that's number one of the G87 M2s. Let's go have a look at number two. Z Performance wheel uh, stand here at Essen. And we found Dan from Twist and Fix, his G87 M2 with the full edition one kit as well. So it looks good as well as Dylan will show you now briefly. Dan's G80 M3 that's just been freshly wrapped in sandblast. It's got a DF1 diffuser from MHC and an SP1. All right, so we're going to show you through Auto Finesse. Auto Finesse is a huge UK brand that's into car care and everything else. They do some amazing merch. Dylan's wearing it. But these guys have actually supported us a lot along the way. We visited their US office and we picked up a full bag of detailing kit and that kept us going the whole way through the US. That got confiscated when we shipped the car from LAX to London Heathrow because of the chemicals inside the the bottles pretty much but James Royal Finesse hooked us up with a huge bag didn't my friend a bit of content on that and this is his new crazy truck the detail on this thing is unbelievable and it's huge respect to him and the brand look at him he's out churning away but yeah let's get over to two more very special so we're going to show you something quite cool if you know or you've been on our website you've seen a lot of H&R Springs this is quite an accomplishment for MHC and ourselves because we supplied the kit for these guys so H&R called us and said we need a kit for our M2. We've got something new coming. So they've just released their full coilover suspension for the G87 M2 platform. This guy's definitely having a good look at it. But, mate, look at that. That is unbelievable. Full MHC Edition 1 carbon kit throughout the car. Front lip, side skirts, diffuser, and rear spoiler. Having, yeah, there's, look at this. This is amazing for MHC. So a huge accomplishment for MHC to be able to pull this off. We've got one more car. But if you are looking for suspension, check out H&R. They do have some really good suspension options for a dive, yeah, a huge variety of cars. Um, yeah, let's go have a look at the, fi for the final car pretty much. Whoa, too much wine, lads. All right, so this is wrapping up the final, well, the final project of Essen for us here at R44 and MHC is Wheel Forces G87 M2. Again, the full kit, the classic, the addition one, front lip, side skirt, diffuser, and rear spoiler. But these guys at Wheel Force, can you believe one year ago today, 
we walked past them. That's the entrance there. And we walked past this, but, and we were like, hmm, it's quite cool. We'll come on in. Let's walk around. We walked around. They introduced themselves to us. Just out of the blue, we just got speaking. Then they're like, oh, we actually have a project we could work on. Obviously, they're doing really well. They're really, they've got some serious visitors that are looking to buy them some wheels. Um, but yeah, they said to us, oh, we've got some really cool um, projects to get on with. We had an X3M, at, well, we still have an X3M. They were like, oh, maybe we could, you could buy some wheels and we can do an exchange. But anyways, none of that worked out because it just didn't work out. But good things come. And these guys, yeah, showed myself, actually, um, for a full kit for them, too. They bought it for the trade network. So if you do need anything in Germany, Wheelforce do offer uh, some parts, or they are offering in the next couple of months. But let's walk through the wheels, mate. This is the newest design, no? looking at their newest wheel. So this is a wheel that they've released with this car. The whole reason they're kind of, it's a big investment to go with MHC, probably for the customer as well, to go and buy quite a high-end carbon product for their car. And yeah, huge respect for them for doing that. But this is the new CF4 wheel. The de attention to detail from the center cap all the way out to here is unbelievable. The finish is amazing. But what is, is the concave? No spacer behind, absolutely nothing left there. Full concave, um, TV approved. For sure, of course. So in Germany, huge thing obviously is TUV. So these are fully TUV approved. And man, just look at really, we are wrapping things up. It's been an amazing journey. All the way from LA to London to Essen. What a movie it has been. So yeah, anyways, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, check out what's next. We've got some amazing things across the winter. We're starting to build our cars. We're trying to kind of push some of the UK content back up and then we'll head back to Europe with the M3 Touring.